Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today's a What I Ate Wednesday. Oh my God, I was just gonna do a What I Ate in the Day, but it's actually Wednesday when I'm filming this. <laughs> Magic, I've got this massive high bun going. I cut my hair at the, like I guess it was like two weeks ago, and I now I can do all these fun buns and style my hair. Sorry, it's really bright, but I wanna get, we've had rain literally for the past, okay, also, I'm all over the place right now, but this is what I'm climbing through to get to open the blinds because my boyfriend, I asked him nicely to put away his hockey stuff yesterday. Boyfriend, also fiance. I asked him to put away his hockey stuff and it's still here. But we've had rain for the last like three days straight, so it's gonna be sunny today and I'm so excited. Oh. Anyway, I'm all over the place this morning, but I am doing a what I ate Wednesday, what I ate in the day. This is a work from home edition. I did this last time. I'm gonna do a weekend one soon, but I really wanted to do another um, what I ate in a day. I don't know, I'm just in the mood to do it, and I have a lot of good ideas for what I'm gonna eat today, and then I'm gonna make some overnight oats for tomorrow, so I'll show you how I make those. And yeah, so it's gonna be a very fun day. I'm about to go into the kitchen. It is, what time is it now? It is 8.15 in the morning now. I already went and I did a trampoline high flyer class this morning at Free House. So it was like a trampoline workout class. Um, but I'm gonna go make some ginger lemon tea, which or water, I guess, technically not really tea, um, which I've been starting my days with. And then I'm gonna have some coffee and eat some breakfast. Okay, so it's really hot, so I don't want to sip it right now, but a lot of people ask me last time I posted this why I do this, and honestly, like, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, I need to do, like, a detox or, like, a, I don't know, like, a cleansing tea, but it's just so calming in the morning, and I like to have it before I have coffee because I drink my coffee so fast, and then it's, like, 8.20, and I'm done my coffee, and I'm sad, and I don't want to be drinking, like, 20 cups of coffee, so this forces me to slow down, so I drink one cup, and it's also supposed to be really good for your digestion, so I haven't really noticed anything, like, super crazy, but I feel like I'm pretty regular anyway, TMI, but I don't know. I just really like it. It's calming. It's, like, very refreshing, and it just, like, is so cozy in the wintertime, so I'm going to go sit down, do some work, and then make some breakfast. All right, so I am craving cereal. I have this honey vanilla crunch from Cascadian Farms. I really like it. Um, and I like it because it's not like super sugary and it has some whole grains in it. But I like to have crunch in my um, like breakfast bowl of some sort. So I'm going to do that fresh pineapple, which is so random, but Tom wanted to buy one. And, and then I cut it up and he's not eating it. So I'm eating it now. And then I'm get, doing this Kalina dairy-free yogurt, which is the best dairy-free yogurt. It is made coconuts. These are the ingredients. It's just coconuts. You can read all the ingredients there, but it's like basically nothing. It's super thick. So I'm just gonna make a yogurt bowl this morning and keep it very simple. But this will keep me pretty full um, because we have, there's like fat in here and uh, protein. And then we have our fruit, which is a little bit of carbs and a little bit of carbs. And just something that keeps me very full for the next couple hours. Okay, so it doesn't look like much, but it is so good. And this yogurt is pretty like um, like heavy duty. I don't know what the right word is, but it definitely is something that will keep me full. But I'm going to add a little bit of flax, which I love this flax meal, but it just, I don't know, it gives it some extra fiber, some extra omega-3s. I don't know if that's right, but it just helps to keep it more filling. And it's like, when I was a kid, I used to love wheat germ. I don't know why, but I really did. And this reminds me of that. So I'm just gonna like, sprinkle that on top. All right, so that is my breakfast bowl. I'm gonna go eat that and then do some work. All right, so now I'm making a coffee and this is my spice drawer and my Nespresso pod drawer. I just like, I have a bunch, but I just like like to mix it up. I don't like to do all like all the same flavor at like one week. So this is the caramel one, which I really like. I'm actually in the mood for the Stormio, which is one of my favorites. Um, but I'm just gonna make a coffee. I'm actually having my coffee 
after breakfast today, which is super unlike me. I normally have it before, but that's it. I'm not gonna foam any milk because I'm just lazy, but I'm just going to add in some creamer. So I always have fun creamers. This is the creamer that I'm using right now. It's the Better Half by uh, Calipia Farms, and it's not sweet at all. So I do add a little bit of stevia into my actual coffee, just because I do like sweet coffee. Not like super sweet, but I like to have a little bit of something. So this gives it nice flavor. It's just coconut milk and almond milk. So I just add normally like a little splash. It's hard to do when I'm like filming this. And that's my coffee. I'll mix it up with a spoon and that's it. All right, so I got my coffee and now I'm making something in Instant Pot just for a meal prep for this week. Um, it's already Wednesday, but we'll eat it into the weekend and next week. So I'm doing a super simple chicken, salsa chicken in the Instant Pot. I'll show you guys how I make it. It's literally stupid easy. This is just chicken that Tom picked up and I was like, hey, can I use this? Um, but this is two and a half pounds of chicken breasts. So I like chicken breasts the best. And we're basically just going to put a little bit of salsa in the bottom here. Um, you don't even actually have to do that, but I just put a little bit in the bottom and then lay the chicken breast in, add the rest of the salsa. Normally though, like the rule is like one cup of salsa per pound of chicken. So this is two and a half and this ends up being two cups. So I'm just gonna do that, that's good enough. And then we just cook it in the Instant Pot for 12-ish minutes and then let it release naturally for 10 minutes and then quick release for the rest, whatever it is, like the other two minutes. So, and then we'll just shred it with a fork and I'll show you that. So now while our Instant Pot Chicken cooks, I am making my peanut butter overnight oats, but I'm gonna use tahini because I love the flavor of it. Tahini is just ground sesame seeds, uh, but it's what's used in like hummus, but it also is really good in sweet stuff as well. So this is the recipe from my site. It just calls for those simple ingredients. So we are gonna whip that up and then I'm gonna store it in the fridge overnight and I'll take a picture of it later just so you can see like after a few hours what it looks like. So these are pretty liquidy, but with the chia seeds and the oats, this will absorb and it'll be nice and thick. It's gonna be so creamy. It actually smells amazing right now with the tahini mixed with the maple syrup. So we'll let this sit. I normally let it sit at least four hours or overnight, obviously, as they're called overnight oats. But put the lid on them and stick them in the fridge. So I'm now listening to every wedding planning podcast while I'm making my lunch. I actually just listen to them like all the time. But, so I'm making some turkey bacon. This piece kind of broke, but I'm going to make some avocado toast, turkey bacon, and an egg. And the toast is actually done. Okay, perfect timing. This is just the rustico bread from Trader Joe's. Let's turn this off. I love this bread oh so much, and these pieces are like pretty tiny. So it's like the perfect amount for lunch. Um, and I do some avocado. I'm actually using these avocado mashes from Good Foods. I like these little containers. Um, I typically don't buy the containers just because I buy avocados, but we went to Costco and they were really on sale, so I was like, you know what, let's just get them. So we're gonna put that on the toast and then the tricky bacon, and this needs to be flipped. It's really hard to do with one hand. Okay. Tricky bacon, and then one of them will have an egg on it, um, or I'll just put it on the side.
and this is my lunch. Super simple. I'm probably gonna fold them over and make a sandwich, to be honest, because that sounds perfect. But I think it looks so good. Gonna go eat this. I have a meeting in a half hour, so I need to eat this. So I just took the chicken out, and you can tell it is going to be so perfect, because when you put a fork in it, it just starts to shred right away. So this was 12 minutes. Oh my gosh, it is literally perfect. So I'll just let it cool for a little bit, and then I'll shred it. All right, and so there it is. I just shredded it all up, put it back in and mix it all up and it smells so good. This is salsa chicken. So good on literally everything. Salads, straight up with a fork. I'm actually gonna have a little bowl now for a snack and then probably some nuts too. All right, so I'm eating some nuts as I do work. And I love my new MacBook because I can text from my MacBook, which is straight up amazing. Um, but I've just been editing all different posts and getting some content ready for a shoot that I'm doing. Um, but yeah, these nuts are just a thing of mixed nuts. And then I added in, I don't know if you can tell, there, you can tell by down there, there's all that rosemary. So there's these rosemary, these ones right here, or these ones right here actually, the white ones. Rosemary Marcona almonds from Trader Joe's, but I added them to a bag of just regular salted mixed nuts and then mixed it all up and it made everything like rosemary nuts. And I will probably honestly finish this bag, which I know is a lot of nuts, but over the next like four hours, because right now it's 3.15, and I probably won't eat dinner for like 6.30 or 7, so this will probably just keep me full, and I'll snack on them as I go. I love to snack. I'm a big snacker as I work, so that's that, and I'm also trying to stay hydrated with some water. I haven't mixed these up yet. This is from the fridge, but they look so good, and they smell amazing. They're so thick and creamy. I love oats like this. I'll probably add, because this was just after like three or four hours, I'll probably add a splash more of the walnut milk or any other almond milk um, in the morning, so I'm gonna eat them tomorrow and they'll probably be even thicker. But this is like the most perfect consistency for overnight oats. So good, you gotta try. All right, I decided to try the oats because I made a big enough portion <laughs> to have for breakfast tomorrow and for me to have a little snack, so. Oh my God. You guys, look. They are so good. This is literally the best overnight oat recipe. They're creamy. They're delicious. You need to make them with the tahini too. So it doesn't look that appetizing, but this is beef stew that I made in the Instant Pot. Had some stew meat and is actually so freaking good. Just potatoes, carrots. So I'm gonna heat this up and then there's, oh, there's the stew meat. Um, I'm gonna heat this up and then add a little bit of cheddar cheese on top because everything's better with a little sprinkle of cheddar cheese. All right, and for dessert, I made my simple apple crisp. I actually did a mixture of apple crisp and apple cobbler, so on the top, it's so easy. It's literally just apples, coconut sugar, and cinnamon as the base, that's it. And then the top is just um, almond butter, oats. I did oat flour, but you can also do whole wheat flour, so I did oat flour, uh, a little bit of coconut oil, a little bit of coconut sugar, cinnamon. That's it. It is so good. Like literally we will eat this entire pan tonight, no lie. So, so good. So I forgot to end off my vlog yesterday, but I hope you guys like this what I ate Wednesday. Um, let me know if you like these type of videos. I'm pretty sure you guys do, but they're always fun for me to film and I like, it makes me be like creative in the kitchen kind of, cause I'm like, I don't wanna eat the same thing every day and show them the same thing. So this is like a typical what I ate during the weekday working from home. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Love you guys.